My name is Dr. Jamie Jones, and I'm the undergraduate program coordinator um, in the School of Music. Um, and I, I teach a lot of different things. Um, I teach popular music, I teach African music, I teach Indian music, I teach Indonesian music. My passion is what you might call the anthropology of music. Um, so looking at why it is that music is so fundamental to human existence. And this is actually something that's really true. There's no people in the whole world who don't have music. So uh, I think it's one of the most important things you can possibly study. I know I'm biased. Um, but today, I don't want to talk so much about what I do. I want to talk about what we do a little bit in the school as a whole, but more importantly, what you might do with us here in UCD. So I'm going to start by talking about what it means to study music First of all, just in a university, um, as compared to studying music in other ways. Um, and then I'm gonna talk about what it means to study music in this university. Um, and then I'll move on to talking a little bit more about the different programs we offer and what it will actually look like for you if you decide that one of our offerings is right for you. Um, I wanna start with two questions here. Uh, again, why study music in university? And then why study music in this university? So to answer the first. Um, I'm asking this question in part because for those of you who are interested in studying music and pursuing music at third level, um, one of the implied questions is why you might study it at a university compared to say a conservatory or a program that's more oriented towards performance. And that's what I wanna clarify in this first uh, question. So um, the university approach has certain highlights and that's what I wanna bring up for you here. First of all, we look at performance and the kind of academic side, the scholarly side, as something that sort of go with each other, that integrate. So in conservatories like, say, the Royal Irish Academy of Music, which is a great place, the education there focuses almost entirely on performance. But when you study music in a university, it provides possibilities for performance, but that's integrated into a broader focus on scholarship. And that scholarship, we argue, is something that can actually help inform your performance and deepen your understanding of music on every level. So that's one reason that you might choose to study it um, at a university, again, as a, compared to sort of a pure performance degree. Another reason that you might do this is because maybe you're also really smart, or maybe you also are interested in developing your academic skills. So writing, critical thinking, analytical thinking, communication, studying in a university, particularly if you're combining music with another subject, allows students to take um, sort of complementary courses based on their own interests. Um, and that leads me to the next uh, sort of reason you might do it. Um, it offers therefore sort of broader possibilities after college. Um, it helps you develop particular skills as well as again exposure to exposure to other subjects that allows you to have a, a lot more sort of possibilities in front of you um, when you decide to graduate. Now there's nothing wrong with a pure music pursuit of course um, but there are other options open to you when you choose to study at any university. And then finally the benefit of studying music in a university is that you have that larger university environment um, so we offer more diverse and active communities of students, researchers, and teachers, um, and accesses, access to activities rather and resources that might not be available in some of the smaller and again, more performance focused institutions. Um, so that's why you might study music in general at a university as compared to, again, a, a conservatory or a more performance oriented uh, program. I now want to turn to UCD specifically. So why study music in this university? And I'm going to give you six reasons. Um, the first, it's something I've already mentioned, but we really believe in it in UCD very strongly. It's that idea of scholarship informing performance and vice versa. Our faculty are really interested in how academic study can enhance performance. And actually the flip side too, how performance enhances better scholarship. So a lot of what we do is look at the ways in which actually sometimes performance or composition itself can be a form of research. Um, studying music theory enables you to play better. Um, playing in an ensemble, uh, not only increases your musicianship, but helps your ability to understand how music works, again, at a more kind of theoretical level. Um, so that's reason number one, scholarship informs performance and vice versa. Two, um, and this is something quite unique to UCD, progression is built into our curriculum in a very particular way. So 
you may already be aware of this, but one really unique factor in UCD's music program is that we don't require an entrance exam or auditions for music. And that makes us very unique in Ireland. Um, the curriculum, therefore, is really designed and we've adapted it over the years to be able to support both students who come to us with a high level of musicianship and knowledge of music theory already, but also support those students who maybe are already very talented musicians, but might not have that background, say, in classical music theory or be able to read um, musical notations. So, for example, in first year, there's two different pathways, one for students who already have that kind of music theory and notation knowledge, and another for students who might need to build that up a little bit more before they progress on to some of the other modules. So that, that sense of a curriculum that really allows you to start from the level that you're at and build and build and build over the course of the entire program. And I'll talk more about the program um, as we go on. Um, the UCD School of Music also offers a very broad range of modules on a, a diversity of topics. Um, and those topics include, um, I suppose, what you would expect in a university, which is Western classical music. And we have scholars who specialize in the medieval era, um, scholars who look at more contemporary composition and performance. Um, we have um, teachers who are trained in more practical classical music skills, like conducting, orchestration, composition, and performance. But we also um, have quite a bit of our curriculum devoted to Irish music, world music traditions, popular music, and film music. Um, so we have a real breadth in terms of the, the kinds of modules that we offer and the topics that we're interested in in the school. Um, the fourth reason that I'll give you is that we really work to encourage very individual interests through quite close contact with the faculty. So um, UCD is, as you know, a very large university. Um, and even if you're studying through arts and humanities, that's a pretty big college, but our school is quite small. And what that means is that our students really regularly interact with the faculty. Um, classes from second and, and especially in third or fourth year, um, get smaller and smaller. And this is sort of by design. So you're really in classes of no more than 18 or 20 people at a time um, once you get to that, uh, that stage of your development. But even from first year, um, we have a really small sort of corridor. You see faculty all the time, that is when we're there in person. Um, and um, what that means is that we, we know you guys. Like we really make an effort to know our students um, and we do our absolute best to cater to their strengths um, and, and attend to their individual interests. Um, the fifth reason is that you get to study music not just as a mode of performance, but also again as this broader humanities discipline. And for somebody like me, you know, the nerdy side where I care a lot about, you know, why is it that music is so important to people? Why is it it exists in every single culture? Um, I would argue that it is an essential service um, in these in these trying times. Um, UCD has the largest humanities faculty in Ireland here in our college. Um, and because of this, you guys as students get access to lectures, scholars, events in all of these other disciplines, um, in, in history, in languages, in English, uh, film and drama, in um, philosophy. And that means that all of that can kind of feed back and, um, uh, and sort of uh, uh, inform the way that you think about music. Um, and I think that's really cool. It might not actually seem really cool, but I, I think it's really cool. Um, and then finally, it's the, the activity in our student life, not only in the school, but sort of beyond it. Um, we, again, we're, we're located in, in one corridor. We provide study space for our undergrads. Um, and we have um, a couple of, um, I suppose, really cool hidden rooms throughout the campus. Uh, performance spaces, we have practice rooms. We have uh, a gamelan studio. A gamelan is an Indonesian um, gong orchestra, uh, for those of you who might not know. Um, so uh, um, we have a lot of different resources that you are able to um, access if you're a student in the School of Music. Um, and we really give a lot of support for all kinds of performance endeavors from the more official ensembles that we have in our college um, to more informal student run groups. Um, so all in all, I would argue UCD offers a program that's really unique in Ireland with strong academics and a very, very close-knit community. 
Now that's my take on it. Um, what I want to do now is just um, uh, turn it around and, and let me stop talking about it and let the students tell you a little bit more about that. Um, and so I just want to share with you um, a video that we filmed last year um, and you'll hear from a lot of our students exactly what it's like to be a part of the School of Music and you also get to see our wonderful um, symphony orchestra. This is a fantastic night for the UCD Symphony Orchestra. It's the big payoff, having worked so hard. Collectively, we have about 200 students performing on stage. Music is my ultimate passion. I'm obsessed with music within Ad Astra. We have frequent recitals within UCD, also outside of UCD, where we have workshops, we have accompanist lessons, we can meet different vocal coaches, we get to know different conductors, ultimately just improving our opportunities within the music scene in Dublin. Having come from a background where music wasn't particularly present, the encouragement I've received in UCD School of Music has been phenomenal. It's actually pushed me towards aiming for my master's degree in music and possibly a PhD too. When I graduated from UCD, I did a BMOS. I decided to go straight into being a full-time performer. I started playing with Glenn Hansard. The School of Music, it's small. It's not a big faculty, but that makes it even better. You know everyone that's teaching you. And by the time I got to Masters, they knew exactly what I liked, what I really excelled at, and what I probably needed help with. One of the things we really value about the school is that we're contained in a relatively small space on campus. Through that, we get this fantastic sense of camaraderie among the students, and you really see there's a warmth and support between them. Smaller class sizes obviously helps with the learning environment. Coming in as a mature student, I never thought I could study music in third level, but actually I finished a degree in a couple of months. To my place for about 14 years and became a hairdresser. Then I decided to go back to finish my degree, and obviously I didn't have enough of music, so I'm starting my PhD in part-time in September. There is a peer mentor program which does help you make friends in your class quite easy, which is great. I was quite afraid that I may not meet any friends, but I actually met many friends. It's so great to be part of the orchestra because I get to hit stuff and it's fun. If it wasn't for the UCD orchestra, I wouldn't still be playing music today. My dad always said that when you retire out to football in the hurling, you can keep playing the music, like it's a skill for life. have the desire to see that again you'll find that right on the home page of our website um, and you can also find it on YouTube um, and I think it offers some really great perspective from from some of our students who as I said really really um, uh, I don't know they're they're so good they're, they just really like being part of the school and we really like that about them um, okay um, I want to get down to a little bit of the nitty-gritty now that I've talked it up um, and I'm not going to go into all the finer points of this but I want to give you a sense of how you can study music so first what degrees do we offer and and how you might sort of approach your interest in music if you decide to, to come study with us in UCD so we offer a number of different ways to, to think about music and I'm going to talk about three of them um, the, the most popular option tends to be the BA, so doing a joint major with another discipline. Um, and this is a relatively straightforward way of coming in to study music in UCD. You apply through the CAO um, and to the, to the um, uh, BA degree um, and you choose music as one of your, as one of your subjects. Um, from there, you can choose after your first year, if you're if you're obsessed with music and that's all you want to study, we really like that, uh, and that's fine with us. You can choose after first year to change and transfer to our BMOS program, which is a, a specialized degree that is specific to music. Um, so you would do your first year in RBA with another subject, and then in second year, if you were really really um, wanting to focus purely on music or almost purely on music you could transfer to the BMOs um, and you would finish that degree in the three year period. Um, so that kind of transfer happens based on your GPA from first year. Um, so it's all based on that performance, it, it, it getting into our BMOs program. We also have this really cool other option, which is that you can finish the BA in three years and then decide to add a fourth year to your undergraduate degree. And at the end of those four years, you'll finish with a BA and a BMOS. Um, it's based again on GPA in terms of getting into the fourth year BMOS program. 
but it's a it's a cool option um, for those of you who are interested in maybe in becoming a secondary school teacher studying music in the VA is best because you can study two subjects at once um, but we have that ability to add a specialization in music at the end with that extra fourth year so that's something to just keep in the back of your mind you don't need to decide anything now but th those are two really common ways of coming in to study music um, with us in UCD um, we also have um, the four-year degree. So the BA Humanities degree has um, a really cool pathway, music, film, and drama. Um, I am the pathway coordinator for it, um, and it's, it's one of my favorite um, programs to teach on. Um, so this is a four-year degree taught across those three subjects, so music, film, and drama. Um, and I'll talk more about what these different degrees look like in just a moment. Um, but for now, just to say it's a, it's a separate code, it's a separate, separate entry point. Um, details on how to apply for all of these options are available in the prospectus. Um, and you can also, of course, visit our, our stand in the exhibition hall if you have any further questions about them. Um, okay, so in terms of what these degrees look like, the BA and the BMOS degrees, um, uh, I can talk a little bit about what's different about them, but in general for both of them, um, in your first year, it's sort of skill building, so writing skills, listening skills, notation, music theory, um, and also cultural analysis. In your second year, it's more kind of deepening your actual knowledge, um, particularly of, say, music history, of Irish and world musical traditions, um, and then keyboard and technology skills and musical form and structure. And then in stage three, it's more refining and specialization. Um, so more seminar style modules in ethnomusicology, popular music, orchestration, conducting, film music, and classical music. You can kind of, by third year, choose the, the topics within music that you're really most interested in and kind of specialize a little bit in those. And that's something we really value in our degree programs. A big difference between the BA and the BMOS degree, and again, it's not a decision you need to make now, is that the BMOS degree, um, asks for and expects um, more engagement. Obviously, you take more modules and we offer modules that are specific to the BMOs, um, like uh, CounterPoint, for example. Um, but we also expect more engagement with performance. Um, and I'll talk a little bit before we finish up um, about our performance modules. So that's one key difference is that with the BMOs, it, it would be likely that you would be a performer of some kind, whether in the symphony orchestra, in the Philharmonic Choir, um, in one of our, our performing ensembles. Um, with the music, film, and drama pathway, again, that's a four-year degree. Um, the first year, again, it, it's sort of skill building, um, but there's an emphasis on um, sort of pathway-specific modules that look at the three subjects of music, film, and drama together. Um, in stage two, it's deepening knowledge again, but also developing some more practical tools. So um, independent research projects and career development in stage two. Um, stage three is what we're really thrilled with in terms of the BA Humanities. So exploring, um, exploring sort of the real world through internships or exchange options. Um, you could also stay in UCD and delve further into your preferred subjects. And then finally in stage four, you're focusing by engaging with your interests at the very highest level, um, developing and conducting your own research by writing off in a dissertation. Um, so that that's what that four year degree looks like. And I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions you might have about that degree specifically. Um, so the last thing I want to cover um, before we see if there's any questions that I can answer before I finish up um, is our performing groups. We're really very proud of our performing groups. And I should say and make it clear, we don't teach one-to-one -one instruction. So we don't teach, for example, guitar lessons or piano lessons, although there is some keyboard training in second year. Um, instead, we offer instruction through our performing ensembles and we keep expanding the, the, the palette of ensembles and we're really proud of that too. So you can um, perform in a chamber orchestra, in an early music ensemble. There are, of course, um, the very well known UCD choral scholars. Um, there's a UCD composition ensemble that, that composes and then performs their own music. Um, the UCD Gamelan Orchestra, that again is an Indonesian um, pitched percussion orchestra, um, which is very unique in terms of a, a university offering. The UCD Philharmonic Choir, um, the UCD Symphony Orchestra, which you saw uh, portrayed so well in that, in that video. Um, and we're, we're developing a new module that we are aiming to start next year in Irish traditional performance as well. So that there's quite a few performing possibilities for you. And these, I should say, are very much um, learning ensembles. You learn a lot by participating in them. It's not sort of just going into a room and doing what you already know how to do. There is a lot of training involved. 
Um, I also just want to men mention um, the various scholarships that we have available through um, uh, the Symphony Orchestra and the Choral Scholars um, and the Performing Arts. So there are a number of scholarships available to students as well if you are already accomplished performers. Um, that is really all I wanted to make sure I got through. Um, so at this stage, um, I suppose, are there questions? So one of these questions is, what are the career opportunities after studying music? Um, well, our, our students go on to do a whole bunch of different things. Um, some of them, like you saw in the video, some of them actually go on and do performance, um, and, and that's always great. Um, a lot of our students go on to secondary school or primary school teaching as well, and music is a very good um, uh, foundation for that, and we ensure that our curriculum meets the Teaching Council's requirements for, for secondary teaching. Um, we also have students who work just generally in sort of um, uh, arts and culture, um, and that's another thing. So we have graduates in the Abbey Theater, we have graduates, um, uh, one of our graduates, our PhD students actually, writes all the program notes for the BBC proms. Um, so there, there's lots of different career opportunities following on from this degree. Um, and it's, it's hard to pinpoint it, but that's really the value of arts and humanities. I think you can do so much. Yes, it's very broad. So I might just take one final question, um, because a few questions on this came in. Um, so it says for well, a couple of questions, one says, is there much emphasis on performance? Um, and then do you absolutely have to study uh, or play an instrument in order to study music? Both good questions. So performance um, in the BA degree and in the BA humanities degree, performance is optional. You don't have to do performance, but we have all of these performing ensembles, um, which we really encourage students to do. You can take them as electives. And if you do the BMUS, it's in program. So we, we, we do ask that you do some performance in the BMUS. Um, but no, you do not have to play an instrument to study with us. Um, it helps, certainly. Um, but if, uh, if you're a singer, you know what, you really just have to really have a passion for music. It helps a lot if you're a performer, but one of the things we really try and do is make this course accessible to students who might not have that classical background. Um, and we really want to encourage both highly accomplished classical performers and, and people who may be coming to it from a different angle to, to apply to study with us. Okay, thank you very much for that very insightful um, journey through music in UCB.